Well, it, obviously, it was a, a ball game in which we we played very well. It was a game that uh, seemed that everything went our way. Our guys took advantage of opportunities. We also know that it's a it's a nice feeling, but it's also a game of baseball that we understand, and we. We know that tomorrow is, is a very, very important game, and we've just got to be ready to go tomorrow. Just very pleased with the way that Drew pitched, obviously the key to the ball game. Don't know when I've ever seen him pitch better, and he's been with us for two years. The great win, but every one of these young men understand the game and know that Got to be ready to go tomorrow. Hey Mike, uh, at some point, were you, were you ever at any point going to sit Drew down and turn it over to the bullpen? Were you that confident in what he was? Well, doing? we asked him in the eighth how he felt. He said, I'm okay. Uh, he was, uh, I think he was at 91. And then when we got to the ninth, it was more or less Drew looking at us saying, I'd like to keep the ball in my hand, and we were not going to argue with him. Taylor, what's it what's it like to snap that one losing streak to the Gators in such a big environment? Um, you know, it's a, a big thing for us. You know, I mean, we haven't had the best of luck against them this year or last year in the playoffs. But you know, just to to come back and you know just stay within our team and just have fun and you know just play the game how we've been playing. It's just that's all there was to it. But it, it's. I mean, it's nice, and we just got to remain humble and come back out here tomorrow. Drew, obviously retiring night in a row. What, what was working for you tonight? What, what was the key to you, uh, you know, setting setting down uh, Florida hitters for our team? Uh, definitely staying low in the zone. Uh, they're definitely a team that feeds up, feeds off of stuff up in the zone and staying down. Having them roll ground balls for my defense was a big key for my success tonight. Drew, did you did you feel like you had good stuff from, from the get-go, or was there a point where you really got comfortable out there? Yeah, um, from the first inning on, it, everything even felt great in the bullpen. But every inning was just uh, coming back and looking back at the last inning and feeding off that and trying to add that to the next inning. Drew, would, would 11 have had to get a couple guys to get that ball out of your hand in the ninth? Uh, probably, yeah. Uh, that was definitely one of the most fun games I've ever pitched in, and I definitely wanted that one. That was a big win for us and this whole team. Drew, how big was the double play after the last day you gave up? I think the lineup was turning over and January. How big was that for you? Uh, that was definitely a big thing in that inning. Uh, keeping the pitch count low helps us all to just go farther in the game. And the double plays, that's one of the big things that we preach uh, from Coach Bell, and that really helped me throughout the game. Mike, 11, you said, sorry, Tim, I got a question now. You said that you uh, you have you didn't remember Drew ever having an outing like that or pitching better. When was the last time any FSU pitcher pitched better than that? It's a great question. Considering the stage, the opponent. You know, Corey, that's a that's that's a heck of a question because I can't say I, I, I remember this or I remember that. I mean, the guy the guy pitched his heart out. He threw the location. He used both sides of the plate. He had the slider and the change going for him. Uh, it was a game in which, as I said, a lot of things went our way. I'm very proud of what we accomplished, but I just know that it's a long way from being over. Taylor and Matt, both of you, what's it like playing behind a guy who's pitching as well as he is? And could you tell that he was? I think from the get-go, we could tell he was kind of rolling with it. Um, you know, like you said, keeping the ball down, keeping it away from where they could attack a pitch, and uh, you know, letting us kind of work behind him was key to keeping his keep uh, his uh, his pitch count down. So we could tell from, from the get-go. I think. Mike, you're going to see a, a second-round pick tomorrow, and possibly a, a first-round pick if the series goes to Monday. Is that something you kind of reinforce to your guys in terms of? Uh, the quality of pitching that, that you guys are going to see ahead? Well, having seen this club uh, three times this year, we know how good they are. We know that their pitchers are uh, 
as good as any, if not the best, in the country. It was uh, uh, just, we know that tomorrow with uh, Shore, he's, he's the Friday night guy. He's, he's beautiful. I'm surprised he was a second rounder. I thought he would be a first rounder. Mike, uh, some pretty nice plays made behind Drew today. How proud of you of the defensive effort, especially after what I think you guys had six errors here last year in this region? Our guys uh, are, the majority of them, a year older. We've played better defensively this year. And, of course, you have to do that if you're going to be successful against anybody, especially the University of Florida. So we just happened to uh, to play well, as I've said. Glad to see us play as well as we did. And we know that we're going to have to play just that well uh, tomorrow, or possibly Monday. Two more guys. Well, I know that he said the, the work isn't done, but to get the first one in a super regional, uh, how much how important is that, and how much better does it feel going in with one in the bank? I really wish that I could say that was really an important win. It's not over. We're playing a team that uh, has been ranked in the very top spot 75% of the year. They have everything it takes to win two ball games. We know what is in front of us and we're excited to have the opportunity to compete. Anything else?